Okay, welcome everybody. Um, I wanted to use this as a, an introductory video uh, to show you uh, a little bit about our course. In order to navigate to our course, um, you're going to want to go to Canopy and then go to the Canvas login. And our course is uh, really a two-part course. It's the microbiology lecture and lab. So let me show you around the lecture first. Okay. The way you're going to navigate through this course is through the use of the Pages tab over here. Okay. The Pages tab will open you up to an introductory page that tells you a little bit about the course and the objectives and what you should be able to accomplish once you've completed the course. And it tells you a little bit about um, the assignments and the, uh, the gradable activities. The syllabus for the course okay, is located over in the syllabus area here okay? and it's downloadable as a PDF but you can also see the course schedule here in the window. Okay? And what you'll notice uh, about the course is that um, I've broken it up into both lab and lecture components. Um, the weeks are numbered. The dates are numbered. Each week, with the exception of the first and the last weeks, we're going to hit four chapters in each lecture. So this course moves relatively quickly. Um, all the lectures are video podcast, so I'll show you in a minute what a typical module looks like. Um, so that you can know where to find the information you need in order to complete the homework and the quizzes and get ready for the exams. Okay. As an example, in week one, we're going to chat, cover chapters one and two, uh, the lecture topics, microbes and our history and concepts of infectious disease. There will be podcasts that accompany that, and I'll show you where they are. Um, there are no assignments due the first week. Those begin the following week. The lab topics are going to be uh, lab safety, use of a normal and a virtual microscope, and an introduction to bacterial staining. The entire course is virtual. There are no um, on-ground components, meaning everything is on the web. Okay, And there's reasons for that um, that I don't have to get into right now. Um, in, in future versions of the course, um, we'll likely have a, a version that's got online lecture and um, a wet lab that you can order okay once um, supply lines are restored um, but for now we're going um, all virtual okay um, the following week uh, we'll have material available on that Monday and Wednesday uh, in week two we'll be covering chapters four through seven okay um, you can see the topics here there will be podcasts for each one Assignments due would be last week's components that are gradable, okay, and those are all submittable online. Those include the inquisitive assignments, the smart works, reading quizzes, and homework, your case history exercise, your visual quizzes, and your reading quizzes, okay, and all those are available through links, and I'll show you where they are, okay, in, in the module. And then um, the, the lab for that week is going to be Gram Stain. Um, familiarization with the oxygen needs of bacteria through glycolate, glyo, thioglycolate media and the uh, Kirby Bauer test and its significance. Okay, and then what's due in lab that Monday are the lab reports and the quizzes from the previous week, and so that'll be the pattern that we'll follow all the way down. Okay, now um, if you're curious in terms of how the points shake out. Um, I can show you that as well. Um, if you want to download the syllabus, all you have to do is uh, hit that um, that link. It'll download into your machine, okay? And then you can pull it up. And an important piece of software that you're going to want to have, including Microsoft Office, is also Adobe Acrobat Reader, okay? Um, you should have free access to Microsoft Office as a UC student. Um, Adobe Acrobat Reader is available at www.adobe.com and is a free application. And you'll need that to submit a lot of the assignments that I post.
Okay, my information is here. You can get a hold of me live um, by cell or email from on Friday from five to seven. Okay, and I'm here not just for this course, but any science or math course you happen to be taking. So take advantage. That's my time for you. Okay. Um, I, I primarily use email. If you want to call me on my cell or text me, that's fine. Um, that's not the primary way that I communicate. Okay. Course description, lab lecture course, um, designed to familiarize you with um, microbes and their impact on human health and environment. Okay. Um, and this is for health professionals. Okay. No credit here towards a biology major. Um, the learning objectives are shown. Okay, I don't need to go through all of them. The course format is online asynchronous, but there are there are strict deadlines. Okay, you have to have your assignment in by the deadline, or you're not going to get any credit for it. Okay, so if you're gonna if if you're worried about your internet connection or the, the performance of your computer, I suggest that you you test those things out as soon as possible so that you have um, a primary and a backup to go to somewhere in the event that you have a problem. Okay. Um, prerequisites and co-requisites listed. That's the text we'll be using. There's a digital product key um, or um, that comes with your book or you can buy the product key separately. Um, it's from Norton. Okay. And the ISBN is shown here. Okay. Other resources um, really nothing other than signing up in a few cases for free accounts to do virtual lab experiments on some uh, some websites that are posted on the lab side okay so this, this is no cost to you um, computer um, requirements here okay you can use Windows or Mac it doesn't matter um, I highly suggest you not try and do this on your phone okay if for no other reason then sometimes the phone app doesn't work the way that the computer app does okay and one of the things you're going to have to do uh, especially on the lab side is to um, uh, submit completed forms in either Word or uh, Acrobat Reader right in order to do that you need to upload the file after you completed and saved it okay so that I can look at it and grade the gradable parts okay Tech skills, um, you can see here, um, there is a uh, there is a proctoring system called Honorlock, which you may or may not be familiar with, um, and it's a proctoring system for when you take exams to make sure that there's no cheating. Okay, um, and that's how the, uh, the practicals and the exams are going to be administered. Okay. Um, you can see the graded components here and then this of course is the syllabus and when the things are due okay it's going to be a total of two lab practicals um, the lab reports and quizzes from the previous week are always due the Monday of that week um, and then um, the uh, practicals are going to be um, in the case of your last practical on the Monday of that week and your first practical is going to be uh, the Monday of the 13th. Okay. Um, the last lab reports and quizzes for week seven will be due that Wednesday, which is the day of your final exam and lecture. The setup of the exams and the practicals fill in the blank, true, false, multiple choice. Timed. Okay. You get one attempt. All right. Um, and what I'll do is that the week that they're due, they'll be available the entire week, okay? But they're due by the time indicated on the syllabus and in the uh, material that's posted on the website, okay? So just so that you're familiar with that, you know, all right? Um, one of the things I talked about was um, there are... Um, there are forms that you're going to fill out that are uh, through Adobe Acrobat Reader. Adobe Acrobat Reader, um, I can show you an example of what one of these forms looks like. Uh, let's, 
pop over here because a lot of people get very confused about this and it's really quite easy okay if you go here and um, we, we look here at uh, let's look at week one lab whoops not that one we look at week one lab okay and you can see here um, the microscope this this is an example of a form that you might download now all you have to do to complete this form is just fill in the blanks, right? So you type in your name, okay? And then you type in uh, whatever you think your answer is, okay? Or if it's, a, if it's a question that requires a short answer, all right? You might have to type in a short answer. And then when you're done, all you have to do is save it, okay? And then you post the saved document to the website, all right? That's it, okay? Don't try to fill it out in something like Preview or in your browser, okay? Fill it out using Adobe Acrobat Reader, okay? www.adobe.com free, okay? All right, so that's, that's what a form, a fillable form looks like, okay? Um, if you save it, it'll ask you to save it as a different file, right? So you know what file to upload. I'm not going to save this for right now, but anyway, so that you can see, all right? Now... Um, I talked to you about the fact that on the lecture side and the lab side, we're going via pages, right? So if you go to our first page, you get through all this material. This introductory video um, is what you're watching right now, and that's going to be posted here. The reason it's not here is because I'm making it, okay? There's a little bit about me, okay? And then to get to the week one activities, you just hit the link here, and it's going to take you to the week one page where you're going to see the... Um, the course objectives, the learning objectives for those chapters, right? You can answer these questions. You're, you're golden for the exams, right? This is what's due and when it's due, okay? A little chart there giving you the days and the times, all right? Don't wait until, until Sunday afternoon to do all this, okay? Uh, all this stuff is going to be open the whole week, right? Um, but... Um, you don't want to put it off until the last minute because you won't be able to do a good job. Okay, The chapters, you do have to read the chapters in the book in order to do well on the homework and the exams. Um, the video podcasts cover important highlights from those chapters, but by no means every single component. Okay, So you can't just um, watch the podcast and take notes and expect to have all the material you need. All right? That's going to be contained in the chapter. Now, um, I have notes that you can use to download, all right? And they're forms, just like the forms I showed you earlier. You click on those, and those PDFs of those PowerPoints have little areas where you can take notes, and they go with the podcasts that are here, okay? So all you have to do to start the podcast is just hit the link, okay? And the podcast will begin. And it's just me talking. And if you want um, a bigger picture, you can hit okay, that. Everybody, this is chapter one. Okay. So that's me talking. In our. All right. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Okay. So those are the podcasts. Take notes while you watch. All right. And then you've got a set of assignments. You just hit these links to go to these assignments. They'll link straight over. Like you hit the inquisitive assignment, it'll say load it in a new window and then it takes you straight in and then you do the assignment okay um, and then if we go back okay it works the same basically for every link right for instance you've got um, inquisitive assignments to do homework to do quizzes to complete case histories okay all that stuff links out to a separate window, you do that, and that stuff automatically, once you've done, loads into the Canvas gradebook, and so you get instant feedback. Okay? So that's kind of nice. Okay? So those are the podcasts and the notes. All right? Um, as far as the book, okay, um, you can get to the book. Uh, let's see here. We go to Pages. View all pages. 
the ebook is available as a resource and probably find that easier in modules. And what I'll do is I'll post the link to the ebook inside of every um, page. Right? It's right here. Right? You just click on this, okay, and you hit that, and it takes you straight into the ebook, and you're able to read the chapters. Okay, go through and read the chapters. All right, so um, very, very useful. All right, of course, ebook. Okay, just a link. Okay, um, the modules I've hidden from you guys because I don't want you guys walking through the course via the modules. I want you using the pages <coughs> because that will run you through the course um, in a way that makes sense. Okay. The syllabus here includes not only the schedule that I posted here, but um, the exercises that are due each week and the times that they're due, and these even link to those exercises. So that's extremely handy as well. Okay, so you can see what's due when. All right, like I said, most weeks we're doing four chapters, so we're we're really moving here. Okay. Um, so you have to be aware of that. That's why you want to make special take special care um, to uh, stay on top of this, all right? Now, over on the lab side, okay, you go over here to uh, 004, this is the lab, all right? And the lab is, is organized by pages, again, okay? So we go to pages, all right? And you'll, you'll, get, you'll come to a front page, Right, and it tells you about the course. This is very similar to what you saw in the lecture. All right, and then to go to the week one activities, you hit the week one link. It takes you in, and it tells you what we're doing that week. It tells you what you should be able to do by the end of that week, and then it gives you a table of what's due when. Okay, and then it's got resources. Okay, for instance, for differential staining. You want to link out to this and read that information and understand it, okay? Um, you can take notes. It's not a bad idea to do that either, okay? Um, parts of the light microscope. Again, you can link out, okay? And it'll talk to you about the parts of a light microscope. You might notice it's a different website, but the information here um, just is important, okay? Um, You've got here um, other uh, links that are useful as well if you want to pursue those, okay? But most of the information that you need um, is available here, understanding and learning the parts of a compound microscope, okay? All right. And then... You've got videos that you want to watch, okay? This talks about differential staining and how it works, okay? This talks about the parts of an actual microscope, okay? And this is a, um, a simulation of a, um, a, a differential stain, a gram stain, okay? You want to watch all of those and note them. And then you've got some tutorials, which are basically um, ways to do certain things in the lab, right? You've got a tutorial on the V-scope and a lab safety tutorial, okay? You want to just run through those and complete them. And then you've got assignments that you need to complete and post, right? So you've got a microscopy assignment here, okay? Um, there's the form that you're going to fill out. Once you complete it, you post it back, all right? And then I grade it. Okay, and notice that it's a PDF worth 10 points, okay? And then you've got an assignment on differential staining, okay? It's the same idea, okay? You're going to download and complete this form, and then you're going to submit, okay? All right, so that's, that's the basic layout, okay? Make sure and watch all the videos, and make sure and read the appropriate information, and do the tutorials, and then... You want to complete the material in these lab quizzes. Sometimes they're going to be lab reports. Okay, and then when you want to go 
to the next week. You just hit week two, okay, and it will take you to uh, the week two page, all right, and then you've got a different set of resources, okay, a uh, different set of video materials to look at and understand, okay. You've got some tutorials here. You've got some assignments to complete, okay, and on it goes, okay. And then when we get to the lab practical, what you'll see is a link to the lab practical, and that will be a combination of true, false, multiple choice, and fill in the blank questions, which you will submit um, as a basically a, an exam that's embedded within Canvas, okay. So there won't be a a PDF to download, you'll just take it like it was a test. Okay? So that's that's the layout, right? That's how the course is going to run. Um, hopefully it's not too confusing. And if you have any questions, you can contact me. Um, if you have any trouble getting the materials, make sure and let me know. Okay? Um, for those that are curious, uh, I'm here in Cincinnati. I'm in the Clifton area. Okay, but um, feel free to contact me by cell phone or email. Um, again, that material is in the syllabus, all right, and hopefully we'll have a, an enjoyable time, all right, and you'll learn a lot about microbiology, okay? So I thank you for listening, and I'll see you in future podcasts.